Hello, hi. In this video, uh, I'm going to solve another tricky question of AS exam. That is uh, <clears throat> a pallet that is going to uh, strike with the wooden block. Here is a wooden block. Wood block. This pallet strikes with this wooden block and uh, it will transfer its momentum as well as energy and the block moves to certain height that is 0 0.63 meter and we have to convert we have to find the speed of the pallet so in order to find the speed of the pallet so first of all i write the given data the pallet of mass that is 8.80 gram so mass of the pallet that is equal to 8.80 gram we can convert this mass into kilogram 8.80 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram and uh, the mass center of mass is raised to height 0 0.63 so height is 0 0.63 meter the wooden block has mass of 450 gram so this block has mass of 450 gram mass of the block equal to 450 gram that can be converted into uh, by dividing by 1000 with into the kilogram or we can write 450 into 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram okay in order to find the speed of pallet in order to find the speed of pallet we need to find the speed of the pallet vp we use simple uh, formula momentum lost by the pallet because as the pallet is moving so when it strike with this wooden block it will be embedded in this wooden block so its momentum will be a uh, final momentum will be zero its momentum will be transferred to the block so it means First of all, in order to find the speed of pallet, we need we use the equation of the momentum. So momentum of momentum lost by by pallet equal to P P P is a momentum P P momentum for the pallet equal to mass of the pallet multiplied by speed of the pallet. So we need to find this speed of the pallet. In order to find the speed of pallet, we can write momentum of the pallet divided by mass of the pallet. So this is the equation one. So in it means we know the mass, but we don't know the momentum of the pallet. So in order to find the momentum, we you can use the conservation of energy because uh, conservation of uh, momentum and conservation of energy we can apply both things so first of all we apply uh, conservation of momentum momentum conservation so according to momentum conservation this momentum of the pallet is transferred to this block so we can write momentum lost by pallet must be equal to momentum gained by wooden block block so in order to find the momentum of pallet so we need to find this equal to momentum gain of the block so moment block has a uh, mass of mb multiplied by block has uh, velocity v v so this is the question number two so we don't we don't know the exact value of this velocity if we know this velocity because we don't this is unknown thing here this is unknown thing so if we know the velocity of of the block we know the momentum of the uh, momentum lost by the pallet so if we know the momentum lost by the pallet we can write we can find the speed of the pallet so we can find this uh, uh, speed or velocity of the block this block by the energy conservation so we move forward and we apply the energy conservation so in our, according to energy conservation and energy is conserved in this so it means pallet is providing some kinetic energy to this one so this kinetic energy is converted into potential energy gpe of the final position of the block so it means initial kinetic energy provided by this pallet must be equal to must be equal to GPE gravitational potential energy of this block of block so initial kinetic energy we know that we know the equation of initial kinetic energy that is half mb vb square 
equal to gravitational potential energy is we know that this is uh, m g h so m is the this is because uh, put, uh, gravitational potential is by the block so we can write m b so we can uh, remove this one these two masses we can remove these masses so we can get this is the this initial kinetic energy of the pallet sorry uh, no, not pallet but, but block Energy kinetic energy of the block because this pallet transfers this energy to this one so it has some initial kinetic energy so when it goes to height so this initial kinetic energy is converted into uh, potential energy this is the energy conservation of uh, block okay we can remove this message so we can write v b square is equal to 2 g h v b square is equal to 2 into g g is 9.81 and height is 0 0.63 so v b square is equal to uh, under root of we can write 9.81 into 0 0.63 meter under root so we can find v b that is velocity of the block that is equal to 3.51 3.51 meter per second so if we know the velocity of block so we can move forward here we can find the momentum of the pallet now so now momentum of the pallet equal to mass of the block multiplied by velocity of the block so mass of the block is given in the question that is uh, that is 450 into 10 by minus 3 minus 3 kilogram multiplied by and velocity we have found here 3.51 meter per second so momentum of the pallet equal to equal to we know we just solve this and we get uh, we get answer that is 1.58 1.58 kilogram meter per second inverse or meter per second so we move forward so we can put this uh, momentum value here in this equation uh, in this equation above equation 1 to in order to find the speed so speed equal to speed of the pallet equal to momentum is 1.58 kilogram meter per second divided by the mass of pallet uh, is given uh, that is 8.8 .8 into 10 power minus 3 kilogram so we just solve this and we get pallet, pallet velocity that is 180 meter per second now we discuss uh, for the second part the wooden block is replaced by the steel block so we replace the wooden block with the steel block have, have having the same mass the experiment is repeated uh, with different steel block and identical pallet the pallet rebounds after the striking the block so here we discuss for example we replace the wood block with the steel block so the pallet rebounds back after striking it rebounds back when it rebounds back so uh, it means that discuss how the height of the steel block reaches compared to the height of the 0 0.63 we have to discuss the height of the steel block uh, which is compared to the height of the 0 0.63 so uh, when it re rebounds back so change so we discuss the change of momentum is greater in case of steel block case of steel block change of momentum is greater as compared to wooden block so when momentum change is greater so it means the speed is also greater momentum change that means the speed of the block is greater speed of steel block is also greater and when speed is greater so it means kinetic energy is also greater kinetic energy of steel steel block is also greater so when initial kinetic energy of the steel block is greater so it means it will cover more height as compared to the wood block so it its height reached by this uh, steel block would be greater than 0 0.63 meter that is the that is the height in case of the uh, wooden block thus height 
reach by heel block will be greater as compared to as compared to wooden block okay now i want to uh, discuss why the change of momentum is greater this concept is important okay why the change of momentum is greater in the case of steel block so i discuss for example uh, the, uh, the block moves with initial momentum of 1.58 so this is the initial momentum after rebounds back after rebounds back its momentum also conserves okay so initial momentum is 1.58 final momentum is also 1.58 okay the final momentum we can uh, discuss the change of momentum will be equal to the momentum change equal to 1.58 minus 1.58 why because it's, it's a uh, direction is opposite so we take the negative direction on the left side so this is positive this is positive this is a negative okay so we uh, we change of momentum is pf minus pa final momentum minus initial momentum so final momentum is minus 1.58 and initial momentum 1.58 so we just it's become 3.16 so its magnitude becomes 3.16 okay so there is a greater change of momentum as compared to the wooden block wooden block the final momentum will be zero because when the uh, strikes with the uh, and the uh, bullet is embedded okay in case of wooden block so it means the final momentum becomes zero final momentum becomes zero initial momentum is uh, 1.58 so its momentum is only magnitude is 1.58 only because a final momentum will be zero in case of so in this case steel block the change of momentum is greater so when change of momentum is greater so its velocity or speed is greater and if speed is greater kinetic energy is greater because we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square so if speed is greater so kinetic energy is also greater so height reached by the block steel block will also be greater okay we can take in more uh, in, in a different way for example one more thing i want to discuss change of momentum why is change of momentum is greater in case of steel block this is the this is we can also discuss from the impulse point of view impulse is actually equal to force acts for a very short of time short of time if as we know that change of momentum rate of change of momentum is equal to applied force okay so if we have a smaller time when the force acts for a very short time if delta t becomes small and small smaller and smaller smaller and smaller force becomes large and large force or impulse become larger or larger so in case of if we compare in case of steel block in case of steel block the bullet strikes for a very short time in case of bu bullet the time will be very short and when time will be small and small so it means there will be greater impulse or greater force acts on this uh, block that's why it will go uh, higher distance as compared to wood block but in case of wooden block the f it will extend the it will extend the force the time will be extended it means the in case of a wooden block the uh, ball go inside and it will be embedded in that so it, it in, in this case time will be greater and when time will be greater it means the we can see that impulse will be smaller according to this relation so it, it means we can see that in case of steel block the four more force acts more kinetic energy is applied so that's why it will it will cover the more distance okay Okay, now discuss which experiment is likely to give you the more uh, accurate result. which experiment give you the more accurate result so in this case uh, the more accurate result will be from the wooden block wooden block will give us more accurate result now why why it is this for wooden block because it is because it is because uh, it is due to the fact or because the in case of in case of steel block in in case of steel block we must assume that collusion is perfectly elastic perfectly elastic mean no kinetic energy is lost so no momentum is lost but we remember that that this is very difficult thing okay but but in case of wooden block 
give us more result because we only do simple thing in case of wooden block the energy that is transferred or momentum that is transferred to this block and it will go it will convert this into the uh, gravitational potential energy we just uh, find compare energy conservation the kinetic energy of incoming thing uh, our initial uh, kinetic energy of this block wooden block and it will be converted into gravitational potential energy so it is very simple and easier way to calculate the uh, calculate the height okay so as so, so it means it will give us more accurate result for the velocity of the pallet okay so so it means it will give us more uh, uh, more easier way to calculate the velocity of the pallet so as compared to other method uh, in the steel block okay in the steel block we we have to assume that when the when the uh, pallet strikes it will it will rebounds and it's uh, no kinetic energy is lost no kinetic energy lost but as we know the we sound is produced when sound is produced it means it there is some energy there is there is some energy that is lost okay in in in, uh, in the form of sound or in the the form of friction for there there is some heat okay when the strikes with the uh, when the block uh, when the pellet strikes with this one and it rebounds back so there there must be um, some heat okay there is some heat or friction so these energies are these are the energy loss sound energy heat friction heat loss these are the energy loss so it is uh, difficult to calculate the exact velocity of the pellet the incoming pellet from the steel method so best method is to calculate the wooden method wooden block will give us the more accurate result to find the speed of the pallet incoming pallet okay thank you